Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, as a developer, do you know what plays a very important role while you're coding or developing something? It is console logs or debug logs. As a developer, I personally know that because whenever I have to test something or print a value at runtime, so basically I'm using debug logs or console logs. And as a LWC developer, I mean, maybe you are already aware like JavaScript is a little tricky about displaying the errors. So as a LWC developer, whenever I have to test a function, so I usually put console logs in between them just to check like till which line the function is working fine. So guys, let me ask you a quick question. Are you still typing your console logs? If the answer is yes, so this video is for you guys. In this video, I'll be sharing a quick productivity hack through which you can avoid this typing process and automate it. And you can also play around with it because like it is a VS code extension, which is having multiple features. So guys, in this video, I'll show you like how you can include that extension in your VS code. What are the features it is having and how you can use it. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So actually, I was using this extension from a long time. I mean, it's been a couple of months. I don't know like why I, I have not created a video on it yet. So let me just share it with you. So let me open my VS code. So this is my VS code. So for testing purpose, I'm using one of my existing example because like, uh, or maybe I can show you the output also. I was planning to not show you the output because like this is just a console logs and you know. So let me uh, show it to you how you can use it. So let's suppose like usually like what we are doing to print the console log. So my way is like I usually, I mean, before using that extension, I used to type it like this console.log and uh, while printing console logs, guys, this is very important, at least for me to put a prefix before the log so you can easily identify it or search it. Uh, throughout the list of the console logs okay so usually my prefix is hash 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 so this is my prefix and after the prefix I'm using like the text sometimes it could be a variable name sometimes it could be the output let's say if I'm uh, printing some name or something like this let's say for this example as we are printing the form factor so here the log label will be form factor like this and after that uh, I'm I used to push a dash or maybe colon then we may use comma here and then we can put the parameter name so this was the old way I would say like what I was using before using this extension okay now do you know what is the new way so the new ways just select the extension and use the shortcut you see this console log here on line number nine this has been generated using that extension so you just have to select the text what needs to be printed as a console log and use the shortcut for it and the text will be printed here and guys here also like in the console log you you may see a prefix here you can customize it of course after that you you may notice the label name is already there so i mean whatever value you will be selecting it will be already uh, in the log it will be already converted as a label also and after that you will be able to see the value as well so this is basically doing the exact thing what I was doing before this extension. It is just like it is now using a specific shortcut. And I mean, that is not it. I mean, uh, there are some other features as well. So let's say if you need to print multiple values. So let's say if I would like to have a console log here in if condition in else if con and in both else if condition as well. So what I can do is I can simply select this. Okay. And I can select this as well. And I can select this. And then if I will press that shortcut, so we are having three console logs in a single shortcut. So this is basically a productivity hack for me. And also like this extension is customizable. So you can customize the prefix. You can customize what needs to be displayed as a label. You can also have the file name, the project name, the function name as well. In this console log okay so now let me show you that extension so to download this extension you just have to go to extension and search for turbo console log so the extension name is turbo console logs 
you just have to search for it and install it let me show you what else you can do here so basically as um, i think it is cleared by its name itself like it is turbo console log and it has been downloaded almost uh 457000 times so yep so guys using this extension you can do multiple things like you may notice in this screenshot you may just have a single value printed or you can also select multiple values as well using this extension and print all of them together you can have a console log for all the values using a single shortcut and guys the shortcut for mac is alt control and l and i think for window also it is same so yeah it is control alt l so yep we are having the same uh, shortcut for map uh, mac as well so guys there are some other features as well which is really 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 cool and trust me guys it is going to save a lot of time you know while developing something sometimes you know it get irritated while you have to put multiple console log or put a console log after each line and you have to type it or maybe you may type it once and copy paste copy paste so you know sometimes it might take a lot of time and there are some settings as well so if you will go to the external settings so there's one more feature like whenever you will have this console log so it will automatically put a semicolon at the end as the end of the statement so you can also turn on and off this and you may also include the delimiter inside the message you can have dash semicolon or if you need any specific prefix and guys this is the main feature like if you would like to include the file name and the line number so you know whenever you will be printing that console log so the file name will also get included there automatically and insert and closing class if you would like to print the class name as well insert and closing function if you would like to print the function name as well so this is going to be a long line of console log so that that was the reason why i removed that that is the reason why i'm not using these checkbox okay and uh, this is the log function this is the prefix so instead of this rocket symbol i mean this was the default symbol uh, that uh, you know came up with this extension but definitely i mean you can always customize it as per requirement like if you need any specific symbol or maybe any specific character before your console log just to identify your logs yeah. okay so you can also do that and uh, there, there are some other features as well uh, like you can also wrap up the log messages so yep it is it is a very useful extension guys so do check do check that out and yes there are some i know like there are some other extension as well but still i mean honestly i i like this very much that is the reason why i'm using it if you will search for the console log extension there, there are a lot of extension available uh, over the vs code thing so through which you may just automate this process create some shortcut to print console log and some other features as well but i personally like this one because like it is providing some specific shortcuts to put console log you can manage prefix you can have file name class name and also you can have function name as well so this is a very useful trick guys so yep uh, that it is for today guys and also i'll be having some screenshot of this extension and a blog post as well so if you would like to check that out i'll be sharing the link in the description below so that it is. If you like today's video, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.